Thank you so much for visiting my channel. My name is Bosco. I'm a registered nurse. In I help nurses on this channel with NCLEX review, with issues pertinent to self-development of health workers and uh, any other uh, issue that is pertinent to U.S. immigration. Uh, welcome again to this channel and uh, yes, I'm going to talk about visa screen. What is this visa screen? It is a letter that you have to go with while attending your final interview at the U.S. consulate in your country. So it is a, a mandatory letter that you have to apply for and obtain. This is an interesting topic to you. Please stay around so that we can discuss. Again, so if you are new to this channel, please feel welcome and feel free to subscribe. And yes, let's go straight away to the topic. What is visa screen? Visa screen uh, is also known as visa credentials assessment service and according to CGFNS website, is a comprehensive screening service for healthcare professionals seeking an occupational visa to work in the United States. Uh, uh, this certificate satisfies the United States federal screening requirements. So guys, this means that according to federal law, this letter should be obtained and uh, it is only CGFNS that is approved to give you this letter. And so this letter, to obtain it, you need to submit several requirements to CGFNS1. Okay guys, so to take you through the requirements that CGFNS will need to issue you a visa screen letter, I will go straight here in my account. You can see that I'm also working on visa screen application. This is my account. So I have already filled the, the form, the online form for CGFNS and they have already created for me an account and you can see that for the service ordered, I have ordered visa screen, uh, uh, visa screen or visa credentials assessment. So when I click on this service, you are going to see the details of the requirements that I need to fulfill in order to be issued that letter. So when we come down here, uh, you see my order requirements. This means these are the requirements I need to fulfill for them to issue me uh, to start working on my visa screen letter. So first of all, you need to pay uh, five hundred thirty dollars, uh, so so that you you can be issued the forms for each of these other services, other requirements. But if you are a nurse, really don't worry. The agency that is sponsoring you to go to the United States will make that payment. Uh, so for other health workers, you. Perhaps also uh, need to know that maybe you need to pay, if you need to pay for yourself, know that you have to pay first before CGFNS gives you forms for these other requirements. You also need to upload a photo. I have already uploaded my photo there. Uh, so you, that's why all these are in green because I have already submitted them. And these ones which are in red are... I have not yet submitted them and CGFNS is waiting. So they are still waiting for my transcript validation form and printed transcripts from, uh, from, my, uh, from the college where I trained uh, my nursing program. And then uh, they also are waiting for my license verification from Uganda. I have finished and sent this, so it's on the way. Then um, they are also waiting for my license verification from Kenya. Uh, most likely these are repetitions, so these two will have to go away because uh, I, I 
Kenya uh, validates or verifies only the current license. These other expired ones will not be verified. So um, if you are a nurse who holds licenses from more than one country, CGFNS will want all of them, all licenses that you have held uh, in those countries. And then also you can see that the other requirement in green is that I have already uh, submitted my verification for New York license, the United States license that I hold. Uh, they have waived my secondary school requirements because I have done my secondary school more than 10 years ago. If you, if you have uh, done your secondary school recently, less than 10 years, uh, then you will need to submit your secondary school documents. Okay guys, so below here are other requirements uh, for nurses. You need to have passed your NCLEX. So you see that I have already passed my NCLEX. And then also you need to do an English test, which can be TOEFL or it can be IELTS. Uh, by the way guys I passed my IELTS and so I've uh, indicated to British Council to send to send this uh, my results to CGFNS so most likely they will receive this in a couple of days okay so if you need to go up uh, consult me ask me about how I passed NCLEX how I passed IELTS uh, you can go to my Facebook page on uh, called nursing embassy so that we can chat we can talk okay i'm really be glad to uh, chat with you so those are that is the summary of the requirements that you need for you to apply for your cgfns later okay, so those are the requirements for applying for visa screen later however i want to talk about something regarding ielts for United States immigration, you will be required to obtain uh, a band of 6.5 overall. So the total band overall in speaking, in listening, in writing and reading, overall you need to get 6.5. But for speaking, you need a 7. You need a 7 in speaking as a, a specific band. So that those are the requirements for IELTS for United States. Okay, someone may ask, so how long uh, does the, what is the validity for this visa screen later? So the visa screen, unlike other documents, really takes a long time. It is valid for five years, so you can use it uh, for all that time. Visa screen works for all states it's a requirement that you, you you can get whether regardless of which state you applied to whether new york whether texas whatever state uh, it doesn't segregate uh, because it's a requirement by the united states law okay so uh, someone may ask when should i start applying for visa screen yeah, you can start as early as possible, but just know that uh, you need to already have your IELTS results or TOEFL or you need to have, uh, as well, you need to have passed your NCLEX or any other uh, relevant exams. So don't apply too early when you do not have these documents because remember your application after you make your payment your application will uh, uh, will expire after one year and then you will have to make a new payment and pay uh, yes you have to make a new application and pay a new fee so do not start too early actually you can start working on your visa screen after passing your NCLEX uh, for me I even started after I-140 approval so uh, really you don't need to start early because as I said 
this is a letter that you need on the final day on the final day when you are going for <laughs> for your interview your exit interview to the united states and it takes three months guys uh, who orders who orders for the visa screen remember visa screen is a letter required for many professions of health workers that are uh, that the, uh, that want to go and work in the United States. So one of them are uh, registered nurses, licensed practical or vocational nurses, physical therapists, physician assistants, occupational therapists, audiologists, speech language pathologists, clinical laboratory technicians or medical laboratory technicians, and finally, clinical laboratory scientists or medical laboratory technologists. All these ones need to have visa screen before you can be given the visa, your, your permanent residence visa uh, to go and work in the United States. So thank you so much for visiting this channel. Uh, I hope that you really found this video useful. If so, please Give it a like and share with a friend that you know that can benefit from this video. Also guys, uh, remember that uh, uh, my work here is to help you transition from your country to the United States uh, very smoothly. Thank you so much for coming to this channel. Please remember to visit our page on Facebook Nursing Embassy and subscribe and remember to come again. Bye-bye for now.